this custom Landau Rolls-Royce limousine. It's the most elaborate and also the most expensive. There were only a few of these made, and the thing that makes it so special is the Landau top. Would you like to see how it works? I'll show you. Would you mind showing me how it works, Don? This is car number three, and as you can see, it has piano keys going all along the side of the station wagon, and the license number is one piano. The fourth car is a custom-built Cadillac limousine designed by Dura. There were two of these cars made. The other one was a bulletproof model designed for Lady Bird Johnson when Lyndon B. Johnson was president of the United States. It has some unusual appointments on the inside. Would you like to see them? I had a bar designed for this car by uh, Coachcraft, who does work on Rolls Royces. And uh, it's quite unique in that the, uh, like, I'm sorry, I have to do that over. And this is car number five. This is an English taxi cab it's a 1957, and I bought it in London, and I had it shipped to the States. I changed the color of it because the English cabs are black. The uh, flooring is uh, carpeted in red carpeting, and the interior is also carpeted, and the upholstery is black leather, and the meter works, and it's in the old English coinage of pounds, shillings, and, and pence. I use this taxi to pick up uh, guests when they uh, come to visit me, and it really kind of uh, gives them a thrill when I pull up to the airport in this wonderful old cab. This is car number six. This is car number seven. This is a new replica of a Model A 1930 Ford Roadster. The number plate on this car is, appropriately, I am cute. This is car number eight. This car is um, a Bradley GT. It's built on a Volkswagen chassis, and it's a customized car. It's one of a kind. And in order to get in it, you put the window up like this. The interior is done in crushed velour. There are no doors on this car, as you can see, so it's a little tricky getting in and out, but it's fun. showed you some of my pet toys and my cars and I've come to the conclusion that uh, I'll have to put this little sign up somewhere in my home. The difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. What do you think about that? <laughs>